why did you decide to go for mono power supply? In our previous funnel, uh, I discovered a long time ago that to have monoblock uh, power supplies is a better way of uh, having differentiation between the red, re left and the right channel mm -hmm. and to have the maximum amount of resolution. Mm -hmm. Now, our previous funnel, to be fair, had a full dual mono uh, implementation, yeah. meaning there were two power cords yeah. going in the back, two power buttons. Uh -huh. It was completely dual mono. Uh -huh. Uh, the only thing that was in dual was the case, yeah. but everything in inside the case was was uh, dual. Mm -hmm. Now, now why we went to this is because we have transformers that are larger. Hopefully. We used to have one transformer for the low level signal uh -huh. and, and and the high level signal. It was yeah. a tap on the transformer. Now we have two different transformers. Uh -huh. We also use a bigger tube. Uh -huh. uh, size-wise yeah. bigger that requires more ventilation. Mm -hmm. We use a GZ32 mm -hmm. rectifier. We yeah. used to use the EZ81 uh -huh. rectifier, which is a, a, a smaller tube, um, mm -hmm. pretty much like a miniature tube, but a bit taller. Mm -hmm. And and so uh, in order to put all of this stuff mm -hmm. in a case, yeah. we could have had a case that wouldn't have fit in other racks mm -hmm. than our racks, because mm -hmm. this is quite wide uh, the width of this rack, mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't have fit in a rack that accommodates the normal 19 and 5 eighths uh, component width. It yeah. would have been wider. So uh, having this is, is allows us to put it in our rack, but it also allows the, the customer to use it in whatever racks he has. Uh -huh. uh, but it requires two shelves at that, right. at that time, but at least it can fit. So this is why we went onto two chassis here. Mm -hmm. This is also completely dual mono, mm -hmm. but we didn't we 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 didn't need the extra space to mm -hmm. go into a mm -hmm. a two chassis uh, system for the signal. Right. We could have done a four chassis system, uh -huh. but I think that would have been overkill. Uh -huh. There's no reason to do it. The connecting wire, where is it from? From uh, from this power supply to the phone. Oh, state. this is made by Kubala Sosna. Uh -huh. Uh, so Joe Kubala and I have been working uh, for quite a few years yeah. uh, together, and um, it's so he's, he's, uh, we work together at designing the umbilical cord. Oh, yeah. uh, so it's Kubala Sasna. We also use Kubala Sasna between the power supply and the SCPS and the SCPS mm -hmm. to the turntable. Mm -hmm. So uh, these come uh, standard with the uh, equipment. Is it the uh, uh, realization level cable? Yeah, it is a, the a top of the line uh, yeah. cable. Yeah. It, it's not directly similar to any of his other products because uh -huh. it's a dedicated yeah. uh, cable for this equipment. Uh -huh. So we worked on a design that was uh, dedicated for this, that uh -huh. was optimized exactly the performance of these components. Is it better to be shorter cable, cable length wise? It's not a problem because this is, we're not talking about signal cable. Mm -hmm. We're talking about power cable. Yeah. So a certain amount of distance is wow. always a good thing. And it's more um, flex it allows more flexibility on the installation. Right. So I, I, there's no there's no downside to having. Uh -huh. I, I think this cable is like uh, a meter and a half or whatever. And that's 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 not a problem. Using NOS tube here. Uh, is NOS. It, yeah. yeah. Is it? Limited, the quantity-wise? This product, by definition, is mm -hmm. going to be somewhat limited mm -hmm. because of its price of $70,000. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not the most expensive phono stage on the market, right. but it's amongst the expensive ones. Mm -hmm. So right away, we know that we have a limited market. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is, is you cannot find tubes that are made today mm -hmm. that compared to the tubes that were made in the 50s. Yeah. It's, it, right. it just doesn't exist. Uh -huh. So we've sourced uh, a, a quite a, a, uh -huh. a, a substantial amount of tubes uh -huh. for our needs. Okay. And um, we have plenty of uh, 6350s. Uh, they're triple mica from the 50s. We have uh, 12AX7s that are also triple mica. Uh -huh. And we use uh, the Mullard 
uh, military version of the GZ32, and we have some of those. So we're lucky that we could find these tubes. They're becoming rarer and rarer, but we have stock. And these tubes could also be, uh, this, this equipment could also be used with newer tubes, but I believe in giving the customer, our customer, the best possible sound. And if that means that we're going to be spending some of our margin money on getting better tubes, that's what I'm going to do. I don't believe in putting tubes that are that I believe are inferior uh-huh. to what is achievable. What's exciting is that uh, we're bringing an experience that is quite a way superior uh-huh. to what we had uh-huh. for a budget that's actually a little bit lower. Okay. Yeah. That that's 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 exciting. Now. All that said and done, we're not talking about cheap right. components. Right. I'm not advocating that everybody needs to spend this kind of money right. on audio equipment. Yeah. But uh, in, in the world of high end where prices are becoming stratospheric, yeah. I think it's, it's refreshing to see an offering mm-hmm. that offers quite a big sound improvement mm-hmm. for less money. The name of this turntable is Perpetual. That's right. Is there going to be new new turntable products from you in the future? Perpetual means we're using this not as a Rolex perpetual Mm -hmm. movement type of thing, but as perpetual as in perpetuity. Uh So I really believe that the audio industry, if it can, needs to come up with products that people can keep for a long time Uh and not necessarily flip every two years. It's a very expensive kind of thing to do. So I I truly feel we, we, I've named it Perpetual because I felt this was a product that could keep, stay with the audiophile right. who buys it for the rest of their life. Uh-huh. There, there, there is no reason why somebody would want to have something else than this. Well, some people may want discovery. Well, they, they, and they might, yeah. but uh, I, I don't think that somebody that has discovery would sell his discovery to get this right. or the other way around. I think they're close enough in performance mm-hmm. That uh, and then it becomes a matter of taste. Mm-hmm. The other one has the possibility of putting two tone arms, mm-hmm. which might be imp- you know important to five percent of our mm-hmm. customers. So uh, the, 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 the perpetual does not make the discovery obsolete or right. overpriced. Right. They're different products and they have slightly different qualities. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I truly feel like if somebody has this. Mm-hmm. They, they, you know, one of our, the things which we're very proud about mm-hmm. is that people who have bought Kronos mm-hmm. in the last 15 years, yes. 95% of them still own Kronos yeah. today. This is this loyalty that we have has got to do with the fact that the sound quality of a Kronos is yeah. a particular yeah. uh, notion. Mm-hmm. It is, it, is, uh, it is not something that is just different. This is something that people feel corresponds more with what they've always wanted. Yes. And in that sense, uh, the perpetual is an embodiment of these values. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the pro, uh, of course, had the same mission, but we had less information. Right. I really believe that we've reached the destination uh-huh. with the discovery and the perpetual as being products where the amount of information retrieval, uh-huh. the quality of playback uh-huh. is very, very close to optimal. Okay. Right. So in that sense, there are products that I think are there for perpetuity. Okay. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, please, uh, if you have any questions, you might uh, send them to uh, chronosaudio at gmail.com or Contact SI Works, and uh, thank you very much. It was really great to well, see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.